שהוא אמר כי הם יהרו בהשם אשי, בהשם הכל הקדש, ברכתם, זה בלי המנה של DC קאמפ. שוט לסן פור דה הופו אלקט, ואת דאבל אונרס וסלטיישן, סו דה אלדס ואפוסטלס אגריפ מסוים רווי, ואת אקי אם צ'ארל פוקרנס אוף ארץ, ואת אסי שלווים. I preach in the gospel for my shek, I wish I sincerity and truth and diligence of mind. All right. So you always uh, have to be aware, man, that uh, despite the uh, the gyrations in the market, all right, the so-called stock market, you're looking at the price of all these cryptocurrencies fluctuate, you know, so heavily. And a lot of folks are making money, you know, hands over fist. And uh, even myself, hey, I'm making money too. But, uh, you know, you don't want to get carried away, all right, in this system, all right, of, uh, of, of Esau, man. Because you already know it's basically a trap to, uh, to hold the people hostage to an illusion, all right. So, uh, you know, they're talking about cryptocurrencies and all this, uh, you know, jargon that they always uh, like to pull out of thin air. You know, and uh, you already know that inflation, you know, is just going, <laughs> it's going up and going up and going up, all right? The, the economy is not really doing that good, but the stock market is just uh, going out of bounds. The price of Bitcoin is going through the moon. Yeah, so uh, it's just uh, an opportunity for you to make some chump change, you know, some chump change and... Uh, you know, prepare for the worst, all right? So you already know that uh, according to the scriptures, Esau will have to come about with his, uh, you know, his RFID technology, a.k.a. the mark of the beast, all right? To so, uh, force the people away from uh, their own uh, <laughs> business transactions, you know, on, on the side, from their own side hustles, and uh, they will have to... Uh, use <laughs> you know the new the new so-called uh, digital currency that they're working on you know that they haven't uh, put out so you already know they're going to try to push out gold they're going to try to push out uh you know the the bitcoin you know all these cryptocurrencies are going to have to shut it down and uh they're going to have to force people to come use their own so-called digital currencies so that way they're going to be able to control and monitor it and shut people down that are speaking up against the system and that don't want to go along with it, you know, especially their critics. So, uh, you know, that's why it's important to stay, you know, uh, aware. So uh, I want to read a, a precept real quick from the book of Revelation, man. All right. This is really necessary. You know, you're aware of uh, Esau's... Uh, it's a strict, all right. So uh, I'm gonna read this preach. So actually, I'll start from something simpler, all right. So Second um, Corinthians chapter two verse eleven says, "Let Satan, or the adversary, or right, these so-called elites, these Edomites, and their so-called peons, should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." So when you watch the video from this guy. I think his name is called uh, Gamon. Okay, you could always. Uh, his name is called Judge Gamon. That's it. That's it. Uh, the name of his channel. He clearly tells you. You know, it breaks it down. A little flowchart of how the elites want to shut down the system, and uh, they're going to tell you it's not uh, proper to own gold. So hey, they're going to do whatever they can. You know, uh, with uh, taxation. <laughs> <laughs> to force people to give up and just throw their hands in the air and give in to their system. You know, basically uh, intimidation, you know, to cause the people to comply. So uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 says, Lest the adversary Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So you have to always be in your P's and Q's concerning prophecy. All right. And uh, the book of Revelation tells you that, you know, that you have to be cautious, you know, you have to be cautious as you deal, you know, with this uh, 
economic system of Esau, you don't want to get carried away. So uh, the book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 15 says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Or that's his policies. All right? And they have to let the people, <laughs> you know, the people have to comply that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So they're going to punish nations that don't want to go along with their digital system. You know, they're going to put sanctions and sanctions and sanctions upon them. You know, nations in Africa that uh, you have Jake there, they're going to put up a front, even in South America, even in the Caribbean, they're going to put sanctions against them because, uh, <laughs> you know, they, they don't want to give in. And those that give in, they're going to be, you know, in, in uh, what you say, they're going to be in the region, all right? And all these sanctions are going to cause a lot of killing, you know? It's going to cause a lot of people to lose their lives, you know? Children are going to die. People are going to die of starvation and violence and diseases and all that stuff when there's a lack of supplies. Just like the sanctions in Iraq caused so many, caused the hundreds of thousands of children to die. And the uh, so called uh, Secretary of State, you know, Madeleine Albright said it was worth it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, they don't have this Edomites, this Edomite elites don't have no conscience. That's why the Lord Yabashima Shah is going to reserve them for slavery. And they know it because it's in the scriptures. And we just tell them to remind them that they are going into captivity. All right. Verse 16, Revolution 13 and 16. And it caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So they have to get the RFID microchip because that's exactly what these elites want. They want the people to be tracked and monitored and censored and controlled. You know, they want to have power over the people. <laughs> All right. Then the kicker is in verse 17. It says, and that no man might buy or sell save that he had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. All right. So the Lord has already let you know whoever receives the mark of the beast or has an agreement with the beast to partake in his system in these last days to go along with it. They're going to be hard in the rich. They're going to be destroyed. All right. So just go ahead and uh, watch the lesson that this uh, man had on his, uh, on his whiteboard. And then you have a better understanding how the elites are going to have to shut down, you know, the trading of commodities. All right. They want to have to have control over the commercial, you know, the commercial market, you know, buying and selling. You know, they want to have to uh, do whatever they can to control the people. So uh, just check it out and do more research. You know, if you got precepts. You know, just write it down for reference and just post it up. So that's the point that I came, you know, always be ready, you know, for the difficult times that's coming ahead. And I uh, pray the Lord, Hamashiach, I was shy, you know, be there with you. All right. Shalom.